Raze is an arcade game where you have to rely on your mouse pointing skills at crazy speeds. Now clicking your way through the level sounds easy at first until you realize every click makes you go faster and faster. And you'll want to go as fast as possible to get to the top of the online leaderboards. But what's a raise? <laughs> raise is a game inside a game. The player is wearing an anti-grav suit and competing against other players to get through these levels. Some levels have even been built by an ancient civilization. The goal is to get through as fast as possible, and while your style is graded, it doesn't mean anything. Raze has a story told between the main character and their instructor and a few other people. However, it's very difficult to read the text with the moving background behind it. And not that it matters, it's more about gameplay than story. To you, the person watching this video, it's really about clicking on glowing panels without hitting anything else until you click on the exit. Each glowing panel you click on increases your speed and pulls you towards the object. So you must click on another one to change direction, which increases your speed even more. You can see why the end of the level always reaches peak difficulty. Also, sometimes there are far too many glowing panels to click on. You'll go too fast. And as you might expect, Raze gets more difficult as the speed goes up. With too much momentum, you'll never be able to whip around and click the next spot. You could tap the brakes, but it's not optimal. It's always better to figure out a fast route through the level than to touch the brakes. It slows you down way too much unless it's required, and for some levels, it is. The levels in Raze start off simple and get more and more complicated with moving walls, buttons, and moving glowing platforms. So you're not only trying to get through fast, but to find the best route through. Now, I'm not a fan of the moving walls in Raze. I find it frustrating since you can't time it as you would a platformer. The best I could do was guess and hope for the best. Luckily, it was only in a few levels. Anyway, braking isn't the only way you're going to slow down. If you miss a glowing panel, then you will also lose speed. A miss will subtract 60 from your speed, while braking subtracts 200. Missing is not only bad for speed, but will also decrease the bar under the timer. I don't quite understand what the bar signifies, but what I do know is that once it's gone, it's game over. The bar is constantly depleting, so there's a reason not to make it go any faster than it needs to. One thing to note is that while we've talked about how speed is important, but it kills, you do need the speed. Once you click the exit, there's nothing else for you to do, and so your speed is stuck. Sometimes the exit is very far away, and it seems absurd for you to sit there waiting as you fly towards it at a speed that is far too slow. Having the right amount of speed to make it through the level and then not leisurely fly towards the exit is a required skill. At its core, Raze is about precision and speed with a mouse. You have to crank the sensitivity as high as you can while still being able to maintain the ability to click perfectly. You might even have to change it in your mouse software or operating system. Even with the game at maximum sensitivity, I'm not sure that's going to be enough for the top players. I used the little button on the bottom of my mouse to jack up the sensitivity, and that did work early on. Eventually, with all the crazy levels, it was far too sensitive and I had to back out. I figure once you learn the level, then it's time to slowly increase the mouse speed. Oh, hey, uh, side note. The point of Raze is to replay the levels endlessly, trying to top the leaderboards. I think I've said it enough, but I want to be clear. With only 30 levels, it doesn't take long to finish them. It isn't even that much of a challenge to slowly get to the end. Raze only works if you're incapable of stopping when you know you can do better. Your standing in the leaderboards is constantly shown to you. There's even a little global standing where I believe the time is converted to a score. Weird, but that's the best I could come up with. One last thought before I wrap this up. 
I hate to crap on this, but the interface of Rays is terrible. I don't know if you've noticed, but the fonts are all over the place and there's zero consideration for reading the text. I'm sorry to point this out, but I wish games did better here. It makes Rays feel sloppy when I know there was a real effort to create. Overall, Rays is simple, but fun. The quick gameplay and short levels really pulled the perfectionist out of me. I can't say how popular the leaderboards are going to be, no one can predict the future, but it might be enough unless you're number one. And this is the video complete. Thanks for watching. Please use the links on the screen or in the description for more.